Hello friends, today we are going to discuss graph and its representations. What is graph and um, what are different ways we can represent the graph, okay? So graph is generally defined like g is equal to ve where is uh, where v is number of vertices and e is number of edges okay so the graph is is a collection of nodes or vertices v and the edges between them okay we can traverse these nodes using edges okay these edges might be weighted or non weighted okay so in in general there are two kind of graphs one is undirected graph and one is directed graph okay so this is one example of undirected graph so this one two three four are the vertices okay and these are connected by edges okay so in undirected graph you can traverse either direction so from a you can sorry one you can go to three and from three you can go to one okay this can also be represents like this like this so you can move in either direction from one to three similarly you can go from three to four and you can go to from four to three okay if there is a edge between two nodes you can uh, traverse in either direction Whereas, whereas in directed graph, you can traverse only in the specified direction between two nodes. Okay, so for example, in this graph, we from one you can go to three because arrow is like this. From three you cannot go to one. Similarly, from four you can travel to three, but from three you cannot travel to four. Okay, so these are undirected and directed graphs so generally the graphs are represent two ways to represent the graph adjacency matrix and adjacency list okay first see what the adjacency matrix is so for example <coughs> uh, in ad we'll take example of these graph and we'll um, fill the adjacency matrix so adjacency matrix is two dimensional array which has the size v into v where the v is the number of vertices okay so here we have four nodes or vertices so one two three four so four into four cross four matrix okay and in n directed graph uh, let's first discuss about this so from one you can go to three and 3 you can go to 1 so from 1 you can go to 3 so we'll mark that as 1 and from 3 we can go to 1 so mark that 1 so if there is an edge between two nodes and if you can traverse mark that cell as 1 so this is marked as 1 that means from 2 I can go to 4 similarly from 4 I can go to 2 if it is marked as 0 that means from 2 I cannot go to 3 there is no edge between 2 and 3 okay so that's how we represent uh, undirected graph whereas in directed graph example uh, this one so from 1 we can go to 3 but from 3 uh, we cannot go to 1 we cannot go to 4 we cannot mm -hmm. we cannot traverse to any other node okay so if mm -hmm. you see from 1 we can travel to 3 but from mm -hmm. 3 all are marked as 0 mm -hmm. okay all are marked as 0 that means from 3 we cannot travel anywhere so this is um, um, now this is easy representation. Uh, 
you need to have a two dimensional matrix and mark that particular cell if there if there is a path from node a to node b mark that particular cell as one okay so adjacency matrix i comma j is equal to one when there is an edge between vertex i and vertex j is zero so it's easy to implement because removing and adding an edge only takes o of one time okay but the drawback is it takes o of v square space so v what is v number of vertices even to even though there are very less edges in the graph so if we take example of this directed graph there are four vertices okay and there are only four edges one two three four to store that we need to have v square matrix so we need to have four cross four matrix to store these four edges so it takes a lot of space so the be better representation is adjacency list okay so in the adjacency list uh, first let's read about it so we take array of link list where array size is is the, is the same as number of vertices in the graph okay so for each vert vertex in the graph so let's say if the graph has four vert vertices 1 1 2 3 4 so for each vert vertex will have one link list okay and each vertex has a link list each node in the link, link list represents the reference to other vertices which share a edge with the current vertex okay so for example if you go from 1 to 2 right so from 1 to 2 so in the vertex 1 link list it will have reference to the vertex 2 link uh, vertex 2 uh, node okay and from if from 1 you can go to 3 uh, if you take uh, example the same example if you can go to 3 so we'll add node 3 in the link list okay so if so this is the um <coughs> link list uh, from vertex 1 so from 1 we can go to 2 and from 1 we can go to 3 it doesn't mean that from 2 you can go to 3 no this is the representation of vertex 1 then what other nodes or vertex uh, we can traverse from the node 1 similarly from the vertex 2 what are the nodes we can traverse so we can traverse only one so if you remember from vertex 3 we cannot traverse to any other uh, vertex so 3 is pointing to null so from 3 you cannot go to any other vertex so that's how we represent the uh, that's how we represent the uh, graph using adjacency list okay that's why it's called representation so what is graph it's a representation so one representation is using adjacency matrix where you take 2d array to store from which node to which node you can traverse and another representation is you have adjacency list that means from each vertex you will have a link list which will define what other vertex you can traverse from that uh, um <coughs> from that uh, current vertex so this is the current vertex you can go to 2 you can go to 3 remember it doesn't mean that you can go to go from 2 to 3 no if you want to check where you can traverse from 2 you need to check this link list okay so yeah here we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, adjacency uh, list uh, code but here we are using uh, we are creating our link list um 
and uh, creating our linked list for representing the graph so you can you can read that i will i will leave the link in the description but today i am going to discuss about this this is the better implementation so yeah here in this we are we are using the built in linked list class from the java so this is a much easier implementation um, compared to the other one so let's let's go to this so so we have a graph class so it has a vertex so these is number of vertices and these are the linked list so array of linked list okay so for each vertex we'll have a linked list so this is a constructor so constructor takes vertex so number of vertices as a uh, parameter it initializes okay uh, this vertex and then it creates a list of linked list okay and for each vertex so list i since this is an array we initialize a new linked list so this is an array and this is we are in a initializing a linked list for each vertex okay so constructor is important here and how do we add the edge so add edge function that takes source and destination okay so if i am saying from 1 i can go to 2 so 1 is the source 1 i can go to 2 so 1 is the source and 2 is the destination so i'll pass 1 and 2 so list source 1 that means now I am dealing with the link list for the vertex 1 and I am adding uh, the destination to it. So that is 2. So what I am doing? Effectively I am doing this. So from 1 I can go to 2. So if I have to add another edge from 1 to 3, so I will pass 1 and 3 and then it will become one two three okay and if it is undirected graph then we need to add the back edge as well remember from one we can go to two and two we can go to one right so we'll add the back edge as well so in that case in the destination link list we will add the source no source <laughs> okay so add edge is pretty straightforward and in the print graph we'll um, so in in print graph we'll just print from each vertex what other ver vertex we can other vertices we can travel okay so for all the vertices if the size is greater than zero the vertex i is connected to and then now will traverse the link list so one is two three right so we are we are doing it for one so we need to traverse this link list okay so take the size of the link list and print all the elements from the link list okay so let's see um, this example so we are creating a graph with the five vertices so zero is connected to one 0 is connected to 4 from 0 I can go to 1 I can go to 4 1 to 2 1 to 3 okay 1 to 3 1 to 4 so 1 to 4 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 okay this is the graph so from 0 we can go 1 and 4 from 1 we can go to all the nodes 0 2 3 4 0 2 3 4 from 3 we can go to 1 2 4 1 2 4 and from 2 we can go to 1 and 3 
and 4 we can go to 3 1 0 3 1 0 so this is this would be the output so yeah from 0 we can go to 4 1 from 1 we can go to all other vertices similarly yeah so <coughs> let's let's run this code and uh, yeah okay okay so this looks correct and let's say if this is a directed graph that means there is we are we are adding only from source to destination not from destination to source okay so let's see what's the output okay this is much shorter so from mm, from 0 we can go to 1 and we can go to 4 1 to 2 1 to 3 1 to 4 so 1 to 2 1 to 3 1 to 4 and 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 okay so this is undirected now directed so from 0 we can go to 1 we can go to 4 from 1 we can go to 2 3 4 so 2 3 4 mm -hmm. yeah from 1 we can go to 2 3 4 and from 2 we can go only to 3 from 3 we can go only to 4 and from 4 uh, we cannot go anywhere yeah that's why we don't have any vertex 4 here so this is a directed graph so we remove the back edge and it becomes the directed graph okay so yeah this is this is what the uh, adjacency list uh, of the graph is um, and uh, yeah we can mark these problems as um, article as completed and in next videos in future videos we'll we'll discuss more interesting problems on graphs okay so yeah visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for uh, more interesting problems and we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye